We, the University for Strategic Optimism, give all power to the imagination. Today, Tesco's is introducing its new line of cutting-edge degrees. Be the first among your friends to purchase a degree in creative accounting, queuing system design, or beautiful marketing. Buy one today! What about you, miss? Are you looking to purchase a degree today? Have you considered the Masters in Capitalist Pedagogy? or design engineering? No. Don't miss out. Our Office of Debt Management is there to help you. You can even take a five minutes completely free personality test to find out which one of our fantastic degrees was made for you. Do you think this is scary? Yes. Yeah. It's a lot nicer than the bank was, to be honest with you. I am Dr. Dora Kalyayev. Welcome to the second lecture of the University for Strategic Optimism. A university based on the principle of free and open education. Today, we are reclaiming space in one of the world's largest grocery stores, which has already started offering its own private degrees. As our university buildings are being sold to the highest bidder for a bargain price, we inhabit the market of ideas as public space. Not just the public space, but the ideal shopping experience on special offer today as a lecture entitled Market Education, Instant Mix Degrees and the Commodification of Everything. We will take only five minutes of your time. No trolley will be harmed in this lecture. Can anybody tell me how many of the seven panelists of the Brown Review are involved with commercial enterprise and earn more than £250,000 a year? Two? No, six. Yes, six out of seven. And some of them are millionaires. The relentless privatization and commodification of higher education runs apace alongside the bank's obscene bonus and speculation culture we highlighted last week. The vice chancellor, science and technology, corporate interest and the government are all in collusion. They want to put a price on your head, on your degree, on your desk, on our library books, the lightning, nursery, cafeteria, indeed all parts of the university turn into commodity form. Is this fair? No! A university and college union recent report claims that evidence suggests that for-profit schools charge higher tuition than comparable public schools, spend a large share of revenues on expenses, unrelated to teaching, experience high dropout rates, and in some cases employ abusive recruiting and debt management practices. And yet, this is the direction we are headed in at full speed. Is this right? No! This entails the marketization of more and more parts of our lives, our education, contact research, corporate research, market research, the Coca-Cola professorship, the Google campus, the Glasser-Smith Klein corporate whitewash sponsorship of arts, painting by numbers. The mechanism in which your average employed graduate will repay the triple student fees means a market correction which will destroy education on the long term. Students will choose degrees on the basis of imagined future earning capacity. The range of degrees on offer will follow market demands. What will become of non-utilitarian learning? What will become of the arts? What will become of critical inquiry and heterodox knowledge? Who will say no to ruthless corporate power? We will! A slow education movement, if it should ever come into being, will construct itself in opposition... Can we get them out? The education
We want to hear more. Quality, which advertises itself in terms of convenience, accessibility, and ease of use. Premises? Education, which is relatively back up, back up. cheap. Enlighten us. You can't do that. 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 Anything in the start, you understand me, eh? It's against the law, please, eh? You cannot do that.